Now back to the action with Jason. Russell McGilton is having a conniption as he walks that way. Wow, are you alright man? You know what? It'll he, be in his next book. He though. ate his M&M's too fast, that was what happened. Um, Peter Burner is going to come and join us on the couch. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. All right. There is no real, you know... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey guys. Hello mate. How are you? How's things? I'm alright. Excellent. Yeah. You're looking good. You're looking relaxed. Now I'm feeling relaxed, surprisingly, yeah. yeah. So you're doing a show here, but this you've been here for a couple of years now. No, I haven't. I haven't been here for a, a few. Uh, but I, I decided to come back. Nice. Halfway through last year, I decided I'll, I'll come back. And do you do you think of it as a, oh God, I guess I'd better go to a fringe or... No, I like Adelaide Fringe. I like it. I like the fact that it's a fringe and not a mainstream comedy festival because there's a lot of other stuff going on around it. Mm. Do and, you like uh, to check out other things when you... No, no, I just like to know they're yeah, there. Just... <laughs> <laughs> no interest in them at all. Yeah. You know. but just, there's always someone probably doing worse than oh, you mate, are. There's a mime and a juggler and, you know... <laughs> And someone, you know, doing a short piece of theatre. That's fine. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah over just, the over there, you know, Keep a good distance. AVO against pretty much most of <laughs> Now, you're, you're doing a show called Chicken Shop Loyalty. I am. Uh, at Comic... Oh, not Comics. It's the Comedy Cellar. It's called now. It is. Uh, have, you, have you played there before? Oh, I haven't. I love it as oh, a right. room. Because yeah. it reminds me of the, of the original uh, comedy store in Sydney, which was low ceilings... Uh, you know, dangerous fire exits, mm. all that stuff. Yep. You know, it's an awful, it, it feels like a, a real, as opposed to doing it in a tent or a town hall or a, you know, some mm. you know side of the road or anywhere. It, I like it. It's nice. Yeah, nice. And getting good numbers there. Everyone's happy. Yeah, everyone seems happy enough. You know, I'm happy. They're happy. They're happy. I'm happy. Oh, Christ, go be happy. <laughs> you know, what the hell? Very good. Now, tell us, tell us what, what you've been, what you've been doing for the last because you, you've been doing TV and radio and all that kind of uh, stuff. I've been early did, mornings. Yes. Yeah. Meetings. I, meet, oh, well, yeah, I try to avoid them. I'm not good meeting. Um, TV, a bit of radio, and then the, the last year uh, I spent uh, putting together a, a solo art show, which is on at the moment. Art show? Like yeah, art painting show. and drawings of my work. Wow. Which is um, running in Sydney at uh, Gallery at 28 in, in Queen Street in Wallara. We did one, I did one last year, which sold out. So You can support yourselves. Seats, like tickets? No, no, paintings on walls and people oh, come and buy paintings on walls. Oh, wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come and stare at paintings on walls. That's how little I know about art. Yeah, no, well, well, it's, I'm yeah. not going to head along, but I'm glad to know it's there. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's, <laughs> fair enough, and that's fair enough, too. That's a good attitude. I have that attitude to many things. So I've been spending, so that was last, that opened uh, about a week ago. So that runs for three weeks up there, and I'm doing a show for the Comedy Channel. Yeah. Uh, which oh, is, yeah, that's just started. Which has just started, yeah. yeah. So writing that and, and uh, presenting that, so that's fun. So keeping uh, moderately busy. Yeah, nice. And so how do you then have time to be here for a month? See, yeah, it's the internet, uh, Jason. Mm. I don't know if you're familiar with it. No, it allows, it allows you to, to you know communicate remotely. Mm. But are you doing a full run here in Adelaide? No, I'm just doing two weeks. Two I don't weeks. know if that's a full run. I wouldn't do a full run. I'd say it's, I can call it a full run. Would you? So how many weeks are you doing? I'm doing the full four, which is a full run. That's double a full, 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 <laughs> full run. Yeah. Full run. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. I'm too old. I'm too fat and old to do stuff like that. Uh, and what, what else? What else do you want to tell us? <laughs> that's just, that's, just that's it. That's quite. Well, actually, I'm question, actually quite curious. Right. I've seen the poster around mm. and, and, uh, for the past few weeks, and um, Chicken Chop Loyalty uh, immediately conjures up have some great, uh, I don't know, threads and images in my mind. Uh, are you able to elaborate on the title? Yeah, yeah. Well, it came came out of an idea I had, uh, which I did as a show. Um, in Sydney called Wallet where you pretty much uh, pull apart because your wallet contains your life so you pull mm. apart your wallet and and, you, and if people in the audience we pull them apart and we discuss them and we use them as a jumping off point the receipts <laughs> that you find and the, and the phone numbers you shouldn't have and the business cards you collect mm. and one of the things that I notice is and you see it more and more is everywhere you go people are demanding your loyalty you know be it a chicken shop wants you to be mm. loyal to yeah, them and I went to a coffee places love it I went to a chemist yesterday and they wanted me to join up and a sushi restaurant wanted me to join <laughs> up and I realised that I have to be very discerning now about Yeah, it, it gets to a point where you're like, I, I don't have time to be loyal to you. I don't want to I, I don't have space in my wallet. No, and I don't have no space in my life to carve mm. my life into little slivers of loyalty. And it used to mean something. Mm. Loyalty, once upon a time, you were loyal to someone mm. and they gave you your freedom or they mm. let you keep your head or something. Now you get rotisserie chicken. You know, and only eleven of them, and then you, oh. then your loyalty. I, I went to a subway the other day. <laughs> loyalty. And, yeah, and but they used to have that big wheel where they would throw your tickets. At, but then I remember when they phased it out. There was outrage. Yeah. Everyone had these half-filled cards. They don't want you. They don't want your loyalty. Yeah. They don't give a shit. There's a great freedom I found in, in just refusing all of them now because then I don't feel 
any loyalty mm. and I'm free to go, you know. You're alone. living in the, in the no man's land of the greats like Snake Plissken, the guy from True Grit. You know, that out there in the in the in the in the far reaches, beyond in the zone, mm. the dead zone, like Logan's Run, where people went. Society's tentacles can't get that's around. It, that's it. That's it. That's exactly right. Yeah, yeah, and tell, details tell. and shit on records yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Off the grid, baby. You're a bit of a, a bit of a conspiracy. No, no, not a conspiracy theorist. How would you just describe your view on the world? It's strange that you should say that to me. I better write your name on my list. <laughs> uh, You're done. You're I'm done suspicious of most things. Yeah, suspicious. I guess. A, a skeptic. A skeptic. skeptic. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I t- oh, look, I'm skeptical. Would sure. you say you wouldn't say angry though? It's measured anger. Like it's angry at the things that need to be angry. Yeah, about. yeah, yeah. I mean, to to get up there and and, and rant against UGG boots seems pointless <laughs> to me. You know, it's one of those things where you just like you'll just be angry because it, everyone thinks it's cool. Yeah. And you, you grab sh- my UGG boot material. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, don't go there. Don't do that. And you're showing the Comedy Channel. What what, what is this about? I've it's read called the uh, you have it. been watching. It's basically reviewing telly. We have a look at some of it. It's a, it, we we look at we try and do it. Uh, we look at the odd clips of, of telly mm-hmm. and the odd shows that have come and gone. And then we try and pull them apart and find out why they work, why they fail, why we're so fascinated with them. Um, you know, cop shows, crime shows, beauty shows. Ones that have been shown in shows. Australia or have you gone all, all over the world? All over the world. There are some rippers out there that, you know, Balkan what? TV has a lot to answer for. <laughs> yeah, well, what would be the worst television show ever? In, oh. So that you've discovered so far? Sure well, there was a lot of uh, contention on the, on the panel when we did it because Amir, Amir Rahman, <laughs> is a big fan of Manimal. <clears throat> I yeah. love Manu. Well, there you go. No one ever remembers Manu. You do remember Manu? No, I don't. Yeah. He got angry, and then he, like like the Hulk, but he turned into like a bird or something. Yeah, yeah. Like and a different skin... animal each time? No, yeah, no, they had two. Okay. Oh, we could it? only afford two. Okay. <laughs> but his skin ripped off? Yeah, it was, it was early. Close, up, close ups of like, yeah, feathers, feathers growing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. And, and, but you know, limited. Because if they shot him while he was transforming, I mean, the crooks were very key, you know, mm. considerate. They didn't run away or. Yeah, it took him a while. Oh, shoot him. Yeah, no, it took him quite a while. There was like strobe lights in it. It was a featured moment. Yeah, you know? yeah. yeah. <laughs> Any copyright issues on the show having playing all these It movies? is, uh, look, it's, uh, it's, it falls under the the, um, the auspices of fair dealing. So long as you're actually uh, critiquing the show, yep. so long as you're actually dealing with it on a level more than just, hey, have a look at this, then we satisfy the lawyers. Are you a lawyer? No, no. Oh, thank Christ. No. No, 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 no chance. I need to have a shower or something. <laughs> and uh, you're good. All right. Uh, I did have another question. No, that's no. all right. That's all right. No, I have to say, Thanks, when man. the police Thanks. interview me, I have to say yeah. they, they get all flustered as well. Yeah. Oh, it's from the TV. Uh, would you would you would you play a candy challenge game? If you ask me nicely, I'll please. Will you? Play yeah, sure. What do I have to do? Okay, you just got to suck <laughs> things from there and put them in the other one. I like a bit of forced politeness on the side. Yeah. Yeah. No, so. Uh, so you have sixty seconds to do it. You're looking. What for am I supposed to do? I uh, just you, you would have played this when you were four years old at someone's birthday party. Uh, you're just trying to. I'm, I'm assuming no. you're a popular four-year-old. No, okay. we didn't do shit like you're this. Not skeptics. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. I was so suspicious of everything. As you're so, so how many do I have to do? As many as I can. As many as you can. Uh, you've got 60 seconds. Um, Am I giving my Sammy J tip? Sammy, Sammy J is going to tip for you. because I made this mistake. I start sucking before you make contact, and then it's like a vacuum and it'll go right there. Yeah. I was trying to get onto it, then sucking. Yeah, no, 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 that's, no, that's, that's good that's advice. That's a mistake. That's good advice. Uh, you're looking for at least 24 to get on the leaderboard. Which is what? The, I know. But I, I believe it's in almost you. a two second. Yeah, that's uh, bullshit. Almost. Yeah, well, yeah. if you want a 35, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I'm, I don't like leaderboards, mate. I don't want to be ranked. That's true. It's true. I live in the. Because then your name somewhere. It's in a list. That's right. It's on a list. <laughs> and don't let them distract you with questions as you're doing it either. Yeah. All right. Try to make it cool. No. Shut up, man. What All right. Ready? Is there, is, there, is, there, is, is there a clock hey. on this? Yeah, there's a clock. See the clock there? All right. Look at that. It's right on your. All right. Let's go. All right. Go. He's, he's going already. You might as well start the clock. Excellent. Hey. Peter Burner's show, Chicken Chop Loyalty. Wow, he's... Man. See, I created Good it. tip. Yeah, I'm Good coach of the year. Um, nope, doesn't count. 745 at the Comedy Cellar on Grenfell Street. The The Costa Arcade. Okay. Used to be called Comics Comedy Cellar. Uh, if you ever went there for a Christmas party. Uh, it's apparently a good show. So I said Peter Burner. Oh, and great. Uh, you're doing really, really well. Oh, by the way, as an extra motivation, you get to keep and eat these if you want. No, you, it's actually slowed you down. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Is there anything you'd like to say at this point? Because he's I'm kind of busy and... I'm just incredibly impressed with Peter Burner's uh, method. I think he was trained by the best. Mm. Um, so you can hear the air coming in there. Food store, all the money. That's what's more down there. Because... Okay. Well, I might be... I'm trying to... Yeah, but now, like... 
Your protégés are gonna wipe the floor with you. Alright. Finished? Right. There we go. That's the end. Hooray. Excellent work, Sammy A. Freaking exhausted. I know, you're right. Do you, really. you smoke? <laughs> Not anymore. Okay. <laughs> because of this? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. We like this. This is, a, this like is quite shocking. Kids. Really? 22. Oh, again. Is that no good? Well, you're just, you're off. You're like the highest you could be, but are still off the ground. I find that very satisfying. So now you're underworld, like you're the underground champion. Right. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't need to prove myself. Exactly. Well, in the, feel in free the, to get you a king. <laughs> I am. Uh, excellent. Well, uh, all, all the best. Hang on. No, no. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> Modern technology. It may be something. Well, see, this is the first message I got. And I'm not going to read it out. But it, that, that's the first oh, one. Right. So, yeah, we, we don't need to say that on, on <laughs> the You're reaching a certain audience. Though. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's actually uh, my fiance. Who wrote right. that, I think. Uh, excellent. Well, um, good on you. Thanks for that. <laughs> that's true. Really uh, and thanks, good on, thanks, thanks, thanks for coming. Yeah, here. Cheers, man. Take it easy, guys. Show. Is that it? Yeah, that, you can go now. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to sit here or can I get up and leave? Um, we'll play some ads and you can oh, go. Ads. You're watching yeah, Festival Fishbowl live from PJ O'Brien's.